Hey, how's it going everyone? Clinton Jones here with uh, another tutorial on how I did the uh, signs video. So you guys said that you wanted a tutorial, so I'll do one. Um, and Superhead86 suggested that I do a tutorial for every video, you know, worth having a tutorial for. So if you guys would like me to do that, um, let me know and I'll do it. Because I think it's a pretty cool idea. Alright, so let's go over this footage here. <coughs> we'll start with the original, of course. And basically what I did was, let me bump this down a bit, is, you know, it's a moving shot right before, you know, get on the freeway. So what I did was motion track this. First thing I did was motion track. And you want to go in here, track motion, rotation, um, because the camera is rotating. And you would check scale if you're zooming in and out. But what you would do is go in here and get some tracking uh, points here. You want to get high contrast areas. So these black and white corners are perfect. Because it's easy for you know the program to stick to that. So what you would do to make a, to do a better track is scale this up and then bring this in again. What this is going to do is it's going to make it a little slower, but it's going to be um, a much more accurate, you know, better track. So when I track forward, you know, those are going to stick there. And you're going to have to monitor these because, you know, whether you film on a high frame rate, um, there's, it's going to be blurry or, you know, maybe you're moving too much. So you need to watch these and kind of adjust them manually sometimes. For me, it's probably all the time because I'm terrible at motion tracking. It takes forever. So... What you do is you would make a uh, layer, new, null object, you would edit your target, set it to your null object, and you would hit apply. Hit OK, and it, you would bring it up here. I'm just going to undo all that though. Okay, so once we have it tracked, this whole footage, once we have the whole, all the footage tracked, um, what you want to do is go to just any point in time, like right here, most like, uh, pretty much when it's like, when there's no blur, when it's pretty crisp. Um, and we're going to save this frame. We're going to save this frame right here. Go to uh, Composition, Save Frame as File. Just save it as a Photoshop layer. And we're going to open this up in Photoshop. Now, what you're going to do in Photoshop is use the Clone Stamp tool to, you know, take pieces, you know, from here and just kind of paint it over. And eventually, just make a uh, paint out this 575 here. And you want to take this and paint out all this stuff and get this Georgia 5 out of here. Um, same for this, the red, paint out the interstate. So you want to keep building it up, um, keep layering until you paint all this stuff out. Um, one thing to keep in mind, don't just paint out this 5 and the 7 and the 5. You know, make a whole layer that goes from here and it cuts off here. Make this whole thing blue. That way, when you bring it back into After Effects and you and you motion track it and add the blur, it's not going to kind of, you know, if it's if it's just the five seven and the five, and it doesn't go all the way out to here, and you add motion blur, you're going to see it underneath. So, um, with that in mind, we are going to turn on some of these layers, and you'll see that if I solo that, it's just this whole piece. Turn on all these, and you see we have these blank signs. Then, and uh, st I'm still in Photoshop here, um, I added back in some pictures. So I took, you know, the Facebook sign, and then I took the Twitter sign. Um, I finally got a Twitter, so if you want to follow me, if you have any uh, interest in following me on Twitter, this is it right here. Um, then I added my face in here, Punisher, YouTube, Broadcast Yourself. So, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, um, this white, it's not perfectly white. It matches this white right here. And this black is not perfectly black, it's kind of gray. Um, they match each other. You want to match your black and whites, that way, when you're compositing, it's going to look, you know, realistic. That's another step you can take. <clears throat> and making it look realistic is matching your blacks and whites. Um... Alright, so once you have that finished in Photoshop, and they're all on their own layers, as you can see here, they're all, they're all their own layers, you're going to want to go to File, Import, File, and when you open a Photoshop file, 
it's going to bring up this box here. You want to choose editable layer styles. Hit OK. Um, and you're going to get something like this. You can see all my layers here. What do you want to do is just copy and paste all of these, Control C, Control V, into this comp. Hopefully your marker should still be on the frame that you saved out. Um, if you wanted to, you can hit Control 1, or not Control, Shift, Shift 1, and make a little marker there so that you can go back to the frame, paste it here so it's like perfectly aligned. Select all your layers and pick with them pick whip them to the null or parent them to the null and turn on motion blur and make sure you turn this on too because if it's not then it won't work so once we have all that out of the way it should stick pretty well just like that alright so let's talk about another shot another technique <coughs> this is kind of uh... this is cheating here so I mean it looks good but I consider cheating. So, um, this is not footage. This is actually just a picture. What I did was I I filmed this, um, you know, and I tracked it, but the track wasn't it wasn't perfect. If you ever have something to where the track just isn't perfect or you know it looks kind of crappy, what you want to do is you want to you know track it, keep the track, apply it to your null, and then bring in a picture that's fairly large because if they're zooming in. Um, you don't want to scale it up and lose quality. You'd rather scale it down and maintain quality. So this is a very big picture. It's like 5,000 pixels by something. Um, and take that picture and parent it to your null. Now, if I didn't parent it, it would just look, you know, well, if you took all this stuff out, it would look normal. It's just a picture. But as soon as I parent it, it's going to start moving around uh, with the stuff. Now, this is the original, <coughs> and all I did was I brought this into Photoshop, same thing, same deal, brought it into Photoshop, um, you know, started, you know, masking away until I got this here, and, you know, this is Brett's movie up here, and then Freddie Wonger here, so, um, all I did was, you know, I did that, I saved it out as the Photoshop file, and I copied and pasted these pictures into this composition and it's going to be perfectly stuck to this um, billboard here because it's just a picture so when you move it it's just it's going to look perfect um, I actually used this in the fallout video uh, when you know I walked up and there was all those guys with blood all over them with the gas mask guys um, I couldn't track it it was too hard it you know my camera was too it was too pixelated at the time um, it just didn't look good. So what I did was I kept the track and I and I applied the a picture to the track. And you know it it looks perfect. So that's just a cool little tip you guys can use. So um yeah, let me know if you guys want any more tutorials. Um I'll be coming out with two really awesome videos um within the next week and a half. Uh, I'm filming them with Brett, this guy up here. He's coming over actually in a couple hours. So we're going to film some really cool stuff for you guys. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, uh, why don't you guys try some of your own motion tracking and uh, send me your shots and let me know. I'll see you guys later.